Hey everybody, welcome back to another standing ovation break. I got my favorite here, hockey. I got hockey, hockey, hockey. This may look a little familiar, but uh, whatever. I just had to get some packs and rip them open here on YouTube because that's what we do, I guess, these days. And I've been itching to get some hockey out because I've been doing all the sports and I, sometimes they go a little bit, like maybe even a whole day without opening hockey cards. And that's just terrible in my world. I mean, I, I struggle. Anyway, what I did here was I put together a one pack of Parkers from this year, two packs of Artifacts from this year, three packs of SP Authentic from this year. When I say this year, I really mean last year, because this year isn't out yet, except for MVP. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, five packs of Tim Hortons, which really are from this year, so that kind of ruins what I was just saying. Then I got uh, four packs of Retail Series 2 from 2021, four packs of extended from 2021 and more properly put this year meaning 21 22 extended i got four packs of there so these are our hobby those are hobby those are retail those are timmy's hobby i don't know why it says hobby on those because you can't get retail well i guess you can but it's not called sp authentic anymore and artifacts hobby i would not touch retail again with a 10 foot pole actually a 20 foot pole actually a 30 foot pole with uh yeah that's maybe the limit i'd go with a 40 foot pole but that rarely happens and i found this little actually this is a free I, I met a friend and a hockey card friend and he gave me this it's a whole retail pack from a from a blaster box a series one so who knows who knows what's in there who knows what's in any of them and that's what we're about to find out let's see what happens i'm gonna rip them all kind of like uh kind of like this i don't know a little bit of this and then a little bit of that let's do that some of this and a little bit of this Oh, come on. Let's going to start right with the Timmy's because these are fresh. I just got my coffee. See? Mmm, Tim Hortons. For all you guys in America and coffee fans all around the world, this is pure Canadian swill. It is. Uh, it used to be really, really good. Now it's just sort of average. But there's Tim Hortons everywhere, like literally everywhere. If you look far enough, you can probably see the glow of the red sign, the the words Tim Hortons, for not far from where you are. And... Uh, they always have hot coffee. Every 20 minutes, they make it fresh. At least that's what they say. I'm seriously thinking that's not the way it goes. And some of these smaller Hicktown ones that I managed to... I shouldn't say Hicktown, but remote locations that I encountered as I traveled across the country. Which I must say was a great trip. And I'd do it again next year at the same time of year if I could. Because it was like sunny every day. Anyway, I'm now set up on the West Coast. I'm getting set more and more set up every day. I still don't really have a permanent address yet. But for now, this is where I'm at. I'm going to be in the... This uh, west of the west coast. I'm on. I actually, I'm on Vancouver Island, so it's kind of cool. It's really nice out here right now. It's time of year. I don't know. Apparently, I left right at the right time because it got all cold and snowy and wet, and you know, actually, it's nice apparently in Ontario today. But uh, I don't know. I just I won't miss those winters. That's one thing I will not miss. So enough about me and my life and my amaranth. I got to get this coffee into me. Sorry. Hold on. Oh, hold on. One more. Oh. The nectar of the gods. How could I have forgotten about the clear cup? It's just sitting here, too. These are, I don't know, they're sometimes fun, sometimes not so fun. If you've been watching what I've been opening lately, the last one I did was pretty darn good. But not, like, over-the-top amazing excellent, but compared to the first ones I opened, it was pretty darn good. So, so yeah. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm, that, I'm that good now. I'm pulling out pretty darn good cards. Soon I'll be pulling out all the excellent bangers. And uh, leaving you guys all in awe. Uh, as opposed to... Well, he's leaving you in awe for the right reasons. You're probably like, who is this guy? Why would he just be that way? Look at the shine on these. The sheen. The shine. The shiny sheen. Even on those ugly old uniforms. Which are kind of retro looking, but I never liked them a whole lot back then. Yeah, well... And again, I didn't like girls back then either, so what, what do you know? You learn things as you go. Oh, sorry, uh, that was Elias Peterson on the Superstar. Okay, says it. Yeah. And Carrie Price and Kelly McCarr. And that's not too exciting for me, because if I was saying I was building the set, I'm putting them all together, and eventually I'll have a set. So I guess technically that's building a set, but I'm not really trying very hard at it. But I know I have all those. I have all those, and I have all the... Um, the other one that's prevalent. They're like the SP Authentic moments. I can't think of this one. Yeah. They are called the Hockey Triumphs. I have all of those as well, too. There's Nick Elars showing you he can 
celebrate with the best of them. Uh, Ehlers notches his second period tally in a victory over the Oilers. I can't remember that game, but it must have been a special moment for him. Alex Petrangelo and the man himself, Tim Horton. I think that was an SP card in one of the sets at one point, but I don't think it is this year because I know I've seen him more than once. He's frequented, fre frequented my hockey packs more, on more than one occasion. Look at all these guys sharing their armpit smell. Another one with his arms up. I wonder what he did. Let's have a read. Stamkos leads Tampa Bay to the second straight title. Well, that is probably worth celebrating, but I don't see a cup in his arms yet. Maybe he passed it off already. Maybe he hasn't given, been giving it to him yet. Chabot and Marchand. Sounded very French, didn't it, for a moment there. Tommy Chabot and Bradley Marchand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Past a man on the back and more moments. Triumphants, moments, and flurry notches his 500th win in a shutout against Montreal. Okay, and there we go. Past a man and Carlson. Let's see if I can not show the insert right off the bat, but they don't do very well at packing these the way they used to with the cards in the middle. Oh my gosh. I'm fumbling and failing and should I actually have to break out the scissors on myself to open packs? I would. I, uh, hopefully I'll be in a wheelchair by then. Not because I want to be in a wheelchair, but it'd just be cool to wheel around all over the place. Uh, a towel, but the tally man. And I think I got another triumph. Yeah. That was an offer on the packs, if you ask me, because I really did strike out on those five packs. Like four triumphs, which are the easiest ones to get. Yeah, I will put those in the... Due to, due to unforeseen circumstances, these cards may end up in the garbage. No, I wouldn't ever throw hockey cards in the garbage. There's plenty of kids out there who would enjoy them more than me, and hopefully they, long after I'm gone, they will enjoy the ones I've enjoyed because they, they'll be there and I won't be. That's scary. I'm having dark thoughts this morning. Oh, gosh. Where's my coffee? Coffee! Mmm. You might have guessed I'm opening up Barker's next. And it's a big old fat pack. And I don't know what it tells you there. I've never really looked too closely at it. But it's a standard Barker's fat pack. You get family traditions and gold border parallels and or gray border parallels or silver border parallels. And uh, in their veins, blue parallel. I haven't seen a blue parallel yet. So there's that. Yeah. I would like to see a blue parallel. That's what I would like to see. I'm asking the hockey card gods for a blue parallel. Of perhaps whole coffee. If we're going to be particular. Yeah. Uh, what's going on here? I have a very serious... See, it's opening them on camera. I'm just struggling. That's all the pressure. All these dozens of people watching all at the same time. My gosh. Or maybe not all at the same time. Like over a year, I'm sure a dozen people will be watching. And hopefully, I'm hitting these big numbers now. Braden Point, Jordan Cairo, Jason Zuck, the man Zucker, Kerfoot, Chronic, Barlamoff, Thatcher Demko, Junus Corpusalo, Tyler Myers, and Jonathan Druin, Martin Nikash, Brandon Hagel, and here we go. It's a prominent prospect of Anton Lindell. And there's a gray or silver border. Er, Evan Bouchard, the Shane Pinto rookie, and a Vasilevsky and a Zach Jones rookie. Matthews, Talbot, Strom, Couture, Miller, Paul, Granlin, Burkowski, Carlson, Forsberg, Chikrin, Doughty, and Ben. Okay, Parker's just sometimes a little bit waning in excitement because, well, because it is. But in the meantime, I got these four inserts out of a fat pack. So, so there's that. And I guess rookie cards technically aren't the inserts. They're not real live inserts. They're just hits, I guess you call them. Hits. Hits, I say. What up next? Let's go with... Let's go with... We'll keep all the extended togethers. And let's do with the retails. Hopefully hit a Cappy or a Stutzel. Either of those would be just fine, Jim Dandy. I'd love to hit a day at the cup out of a retail. That happens sometimes, too. A day at the cup. I love to spend a day at the cup. Not just, like, looking at it. At the, at the, at 
the uh, Hall of Fame, but like actually in possession. Sean Monahan, Milan Lukic, over 1,100 games now for that guy. Wow, that's a lot of hockey. Evgeny Kuznetsov, and we got a Tony D'Angelo canvas with a Dazzler's green behind it. That's kind of cool, do, doubling up on the inserts for me. Thank you. Burnsy, and okay, for the rest, we got Lawton, Ben, and Tyler Johnson. Good old TJ. Why am I grabbing the SP already? Don't touch your SP before you've finished your appetizers. Oh, and look, I just grabbed a... I'm losing all my thought processes. and it's, The coffee is not kicked in yet. It's, it's something. I don't know. No, it's actually the... I'm just, I'm just not paying attention to my own system is what it is. That's what happens when you start to lose control. Losing, losing control! Oh, uh, Schmaltz, Couture. We got Carey Price, and we got Brad Marchand, and we got a blue bordered Lafreniere. Oh, righty, that's kind of a color match. I think that's cool. The red one would look cool too. Let's go for them all. Cody Lass, Chara, and Rasmus Anderson. Um, that's just a random um. I forgot what I was going to say. Again, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Jake Mosen. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's Tucker Pullman. And there's Jordy Ben. And there's Theodore. With a Peyton Krebs Golden Knights Rookies Portrait. Uh huh. Jake Gardner. Mackenzie Wigner. 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 And Getzlaff. Yeah, we grew up in Calgary now there with this contract extension and Mr. Huberdo, Huberdo, Huberdo going up there with him. I think the camp fans will get to like those too. Oh, I got more green coming in here. And it looks like I got my my, uh, my first Young Guns appearance of the evening or the morning or the day. Actually, it's morning for me. Maybe it's evening for you. Andrei Sveshnikov, Warren Fogel, Darren Helm, and it's a Braden Burke Young Guns. Is he related to Brian Burke? I wonder. Justin Hole, Mackenzie Blackwood, and Damon Severson, and totally attached to Braden Burke's backside. That sounded kind of bad. Is Seth Jones, a green Dazzlers. So, every time I reveal it, it doesn't get any more exciting. A green Dazzlers and a Blue Jackets player who's no longer with the team. Okay, well... There's a moment for everyone. And if you're the Seth Jones fan that's looking for that Green Dazzlers card, I'm your man. Check me out on Standing Ovation on YouTube, eBay, and actually now have StandingOvation.com that's doing absolutely nothing for me, but I did register the domain name just because I have plans. I'm having visions of grandeur. Maybe I'm going to actually become a, 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 a an established force in the industry. Oh, wait, I already am. That's right. Show confidence in yourself, young man. I am standing ovation. I have four negative feedbacks in 20 years on eBay. 20 plus years on eBay. And that's saying something. And I think one or two of those might have just been resentful people. Because I know I was rude to a couple people, but that was a long time ago. No, I actually, I don't know where and when I got the negatives, but it does happen. I'm going to admit, it does happen. Petrangelo. Oh, yeah, we're into the extended, and this one was prematurely ripped because I got a little excited for a moment. There's Georgiev, Mike Hoffman, the Hoffman, and there's Roman Yossi, and his all-star union, and there's Zub, the young gun of Artem Zub, Kevin Shattenkirk, Noah Dobson, and Brandon Sutter. Young gun. Oh, these are hobby packs, so you could hit a Frenchie. En français? Parlez-vous français? Eh, mais non. Je suis un idiot. Okay. Kiefer Sherwood. Michael Delazzaro. Dmitry Kulikov. Oh, it's a jersey. It's No, it's not a jersey. It's a Kaliev. Uh, SPX Finite, numbered to 7,999. Oh, no, it's only 299. 999. Nine. Nine. Kaliev. SF39 in the SPX Finite set. Kairu Kajulia, Victor Hedman, 
Yeah, these, uh, I'm not quite sure if you call them rookies because they don't have an official set, but they're in as a rookie, and it is a rookie season, but it's, it's an insert. And those purists would say inserts are not rookie cards. Although those purists are uh, over-opinionated, if you ask me sometimes. So go with it. It's a rookie. Elias Peterson. Elias Peterson. Elias Peter Peterson. Uh, Slater. Cuckoo. Ryan Strom, and we got a Tyler Bertuzzi, and we got a studio shoot mug shot of Young Guns, Patrick Hodorenko. And I know I needed that one, too. So, I'm missing bunting. That's the big one. How come I can never hit bunting? Taylor Hall, Colin and Timmons, Nick Cousins. Yeah, because bunting is like the good guy. And that's, the, I mean, years will go by and everybody will go back and go, like, I should have put a box of that extended aside for Mike Bunt, Michael Bunting rookie cards. Formerly of the Arizona Coyotes. Now, with the best team in the whole wide world in hockey. Some might say. I'm one of those some. And I, 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 what's going on? Andrew Shaw, Cam Talbot, and Chris Kreider, and it's a ultimate victory, victory of Leo Dreisaitl, Carl Soderberg, Nemestikov, Owen Tippett, and Jordan Cairo. So, there we go, whipping right through our upper deck packs of yesteryear and into today, the most recent upper deck release, which hopefully will soon be the second most recent, but it's basically November. I'm saying November, the week, the week of the show. Yeah, we're in that 9th, 10th, 11th of November. Somewhere in that area. Let's hope they get it out in time. Okay. What's a Toronto show without a brand new Upper Deck release? I mean, a fall Toronto show. That's generally what I remember the show was all about. You went down there, you got your Upper Deck, you got all your free shit, and you know, checked things out, and spent too much money, and wished you had more. That's basically the Toronto show in a nutshell. Okay. Matt Roy? You gotta take a break here because I'm getting down on the Timmies and time for a slurp. <laughs> oh, that was good. Sorry, I do have a bit of a drinking problem. When I drink, I sound like an idiot. Oh, okay, Matt Roy, Yakov Trenin, Jaden Schwartz, Peter Morazic, and here comes a UD3 holographics. It's a holographic school cylinder rookie, or not, depending on who you are. Zach Sanford, Cal McCarr, Kale McCarr, Cal. Somebody recently corrected me, and thanks to that person who did that, it's Kale. Um, and it's Sam, Herrick. I was calling him Cali. I think, uh, I know, I, I know too many uh, people with a Y on the end of their name, so I just go naturally with the a E on the end. Cali, Sally. Barry, Larry, Curly, Mo, well, Mo in. Who really, does anybody know Mo? Actually, I knew Mo. He was one of the greatest buddies I had at work that I didn't really know that well. He's an old fella. And then it went on Christmas break one year, and then it came back and he died. I was so sad. When a guy you don't know, and he was like, he had no family apparently. It's really sad. Poor old Mo. Here's to you, Mo, the forklift driver expertise dude. Oh! Seth Jones and Marc Andre Fleury. Derek Floorboard. Tucker Poolman. Thomas Tatar. Oh, I'm going all bitching bloody hell. Even Rodriguez, Brad Richards, Warren Fogel, Andrew. Oh my god, got a base pack. I pulled these four packs myself. And I might as well slap myself in the face at the same time because I picked the base pack. The dreaded one in a box, one in a hobby box. Why do they have to do it? Why can't manufacturing figure out how to put 24 inserts in 24 packs? Not 23, not, I might well, you go 25. But I, 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 I hate base packs! Okay, I'm, oh, it's out of my system. I'll try not to complain. Vent next time, because it is a joyous time when you're opening cards, whether they're base packs or full of inserts. Austin Matthews, Linus Olmark, Nick Bonino, and... Bryce Kindorp. Kindop, another one I need for the set. But still, I'm not sure who the big one in this set is. Is it is it going to be Seth Jarvis? I don't know. Logan Stanley, Ryan Suter, Jordan Eberle, and 
Brett Howden. Brett Howden. I was wondering about him the other day because I pulled another Rangers rookie of Brett Howden. I think it was a young gun in the break. And I was like, where is Brett Howden? Because all these cards I pulled of him and I don't hear of him much. Well, I just answered it. He is with, what was he? The, the Golden Knights? Where is he? Where is he? Yep, Golden Knights. At least he was. He's probably with Kraken now or somewhere else. God knows. This upper deck is even in their extended series. Sometimes a little behind the game, but I'm going to trust them on this one and think that Brett Howden is still with the Golden Knights. I, uh, I'll worry about it for a while, then I'll be okay. Yaroslav Halak, Vince Dunn, Jack Eichel, Isaac, Isaac Lundstrom, and another, oh, it's hiding, so let's keep it hidden. Sven Barchi, David Savard, Andre Kass. And it is a uh, holograph. Tanner Janot. I think that's a dupe for me. Um, in fact, I know it is because I just saw the other card going into a box very recently. Okay, well, we're down to the good good stuff. You know, let's take a sneak peek at my friend here in town that just shot me this card pack. You know, and I must say, it's cool when you walk into a store that isn't specifically a card store that has cards for sale. This was like a this and that store. And actually, it was actually called this and that. But he had like cards, he had coins, he had money, paper money. He had like hunting knives. He had all kinds of collectibles. Really cool store here in town. Okay, so let's see what happens. Maybe I got a Young Guns in this one. Maybe I got a day with a cup. Maybe I got a another base pack. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, all right, shut up. Okay, I will. Jonas Brodeen. Cam, the man, Fowler. And we got a Kyle Ocposo. Taping it up. Keep the sticks on the ice, boys. Kevin Fiala and Luke Glendening. That's about as basey as a base pack gets. Which is kind of expected when you're opening up a random pack from a blaster box. I didn't think the price was that high in those 17, 18 blasters, though. I think he was asking 70 bucks for it. That seemed a little pricey. But what am I know? I'm in. I've seen a lot of different stuff lately, and I didn't see a lot of 17, 18 blasters. However, there's not a lot of draw to a 17, 18 blaster. Let's talk about 21, 22, SP Authentic, or 2021. Let's, yeah, 21, 22, let's give it a talk. It'll probably be out in sometime in 19, uh, wait, 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 19, 2023, yeah. Because it definitely ain't coming out this year. Or maybe, no. I would surprise us at Christmas if it came right out then. But I think the cup is the only next big one to come out this year. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see if we can find ourselves a nice signed card. David Perron. Alex Took. Looks like a Spectrum. It looks like I found myself a Spectrum. Heiskanen and Gensel. Follow us. And it's Spectrum of... Mr. Eichel with the Sabres, for whatever reason. I guess that's why 2021 is 2021. And, uh, the Golden Knights are yet to come. I do find it funny that there's Golden Knights right next to them, but nope. But nope, it's still a Buffalo Sabre, it being Jack Eichel. Okay, this is a fat pack. Could it be? No, it won't be. I never hit those. Well, I did. Actually, a few videos back I did, so, so there. But this one is definitely Phil fill in the middle. It's an Oreo. Please don't diddle with the Oreo mirror. Okay, to Chuck and another Spectrum. What the heck? You guys just saw that happen. I'm not having deja vu here all by myself. I'm having deja vu here all by myself. I am having deja vu here all by myself. These cards I've seen before. These cards I've seen before. Oh, I'm stuck in a loop now, folks. What the heck? What are you, huh? The card's so nice, they gave it to you twice. Okay, well, maybe you should... It's tempting you to scratch one? No, I'm just going to... I'm going to put them up. I, actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the lot. I'm going to go for all. Anybody who has an unused Jack Hickle Spectrum card, get it to me, stat. I want a corner of the market. I know that these are going to be highly sought after, and I want to be the guy you go to down the road when you need your Jack Eichel spectrum from 2021 let's be authentic how can i get two of that guy in the like why couldn't i open like a a you know caprizov autograph and another capri oh gee that's just terrible i hit two cards that are just totally not desirable back to back you know and i shouldn't diss on eichel but gosh the guy is makes him hard to love the guy and he's on a kind of a different team now 
Okay, what's this last pack all about? We got a JVR, we got a Braden Point, we got a Anthony Manta, and it looks like, a, oh, it's a retro. Matt Murray. You know, I never really noticed a 30 embossed down there before. Look at that. That's something I just learned today. I've opened up plenty of these packs before. And again, Matt Murray, a maple leaf. An injured maple leaf, but cool. Now it's not cool. I got three cards out of there that weren't worth a whole lot of money. I wanted the big banger. I wanted the Caprice off autograph. That's I want, I want. I want, I want, I want. Maybe we'll save it for this one. Maybe there'll be a nice one there. Last one was pretty good to me. Like I, I think I said that. Okay, well, Artifacts has been whole hum to me. I, I, I must say, I've opened a fair amount of this because I'm getting really excited for this year's hockey, and this is really all they've thrown at us lately, so I might have gone a little overboard on my Artifacts compared to other years. But let's see if they can get a little follow-up to the last packs and get something cool in here. Andrej Palat, Simeon Varlamov, Decoy. Oh, and it's a jersey of Braden Point. Cool. It fills the whole little clover leaf area. Well, clover, not quite sure what you call that pattern, but it's a uh, still fun to scratch. I'm not quite sure why I get off doing that. Everybody likes that, right? It's kind of an ASMR thing, I think. I don't know. I'm weird. Whoops. So uh, you got one to go. Artifacts. Show me an auto. Show me an auto fax. No, I don't like those auto fax. They're always lame checklists. How about one of those destined for glory things or a hardware, I don't know, hard hard signed. I don't know. There's some pretty banging inserts, but they're super rare in art fax. But they are really cool. However, this pack will not produce one. I got the feeling this is just another pack. We got Zucker and we got Theodore and we got Gibby with a decoy. And a Terran Flurry, five ninety nine SP Stars, just SP. I don't know what you call her. You want to call it because it's silver, but it's probably nickel or tin or whatever they name the parallel. Or maybe it's just base SP. So yeah, these packs preceding this last box have not been the most profitable. Let's just do a quick review. Flurry point. Double Spectrums of Eichel. That's still quite odd. It will always make me wonder. Matt Murray. Kaliev. Tanner Janot. Bryce Kinder, 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 Cole Sillinger. Leon Dreisaitl. Kodorenko. Zub and Burke. With a Green Jones. Krebs. D'Angelo and a Green Burns. Burns and Jones. And a Blue Lafreniere. With a Zach Jones. And a Pinto. And a Bouchard. And a... Lundell Prospects with the Superstar show Showcase of Patterson and the triumphant moments or the hockey triumphs of Fiala, Flurry, Stamkos, and Ehlers. Yeah, that's tough to pick the best card out of there. You know, there's a whole bunch of dollar cards, if you ask me. That really didn't do a whole lot for my pocketbook. But the profits that this thousands of views this view video will incorporate will be. Will surely sweeten my wallet yeah all right if i break 100 well i actually you know what i've noticed hockey videos are the most popular and they usually do go over 100 maybe one of these days i'll get more of those thousand watched videos but it was an artifacts video when i think about it where's my knife I'm going on and on about videos and stuff and i can't find my knife darn it. this one didn't go as so well i might have needed that knife to end it all well, i'd never do that that's just sick thoughts Dark Thoughts with Jack Handy. No, no, it's Deep Thoughts. That's right. Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. Clear cut. What you gonna do to me? What you gonna do? I got the side sticker up here, not down here. I don't know if that's a little off-cut hint that you might have something going on. Oh, I don't know why I'm talking like a guy from down south who never seen civilization, but here we go. Okay. Should I do a quick reveal? Last time, that's all I did. It was just a quick... I just did a quick bang, and there it was. Because I, I do have a few decoy cards here, but let's just do the quick bang! Oh, let's see, they didn't work well enough. It's a Latoon off. If that had been a sweet maneuver, it would have been a sweet card. But I fumbled on the play, and I just got a whole hum Latoon off. At least it's a rookie. It's a clear-cut rookie. I prefer the clear-cuts to the, um, you know, the canvases and all the other ones they have in there. 
but a letting off. I just let one off too. You guys can't enjoy the fragrance around here from that. But anyway, there you go, folks. There's another break from standing ovation of hockey cards of probably a little bit more that I should have got um, out of my values. But whatever. I, just, I always say it's not always value. It's for the fun. And I must say, every time I open cards, I have fun. Hopefully you did too watching, so if you could, drop a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. And if you could do even more, like I just said again, drop a thumbs up and a like. So you can't do both, because then I get nothing. And the whole thing, listen to me, go on and on about nothing again. Just, uh, yeah, check me out on eBay and drop by again. Check out another video. I'll do another hockey one real soon. Uh, I got a whole lot more Tim, Timmy, Timmy Horton's packs. I might do another 100. I just might do another 100, because uh, it's about time that I did and I think at this point the product's probably hot enough so yeah that's the next break you might just see is another hundred packs of Timmy's at least for the hockey and check out for the other sports too in the meantime folks have a great day great night great evening great morning wherever you are standing ovation out oh.